With a stunning display of advanced engineering and aerospace mastery, Turkey's next-generation unmanned combat aerial vehicle UCAV, the Bayraktar Akinci, has successfully completed a series of extreme performance tests, including precision firing, complex navigation, and even aerodynamic diving maneuvers, all perfectly executed. Developed by Baycar Defense, the Bayraktar Akinci is more than just a drone. It represents the culmination of Turkey's to decade journey toward defense self-sufficiency. The latest trials took place at the Kuo Arlu Airfield Command and the Sinop Firing Range, under the supervision of the Turkish Armed Forces and the Defense Industries Board SSB. During these rigorous evaluations, the Akinci demonstrated a level of intelligence, agility and stability that surpassed expectations. The drone successfully conducted multiple live-fire missions, performed advanced flight maneuvers under challenging conditions, and completed a full-scale navigation and diving sequence, all without a single error, a according to Baykar's chief technology officer, Selkut Bayraktar. The AKINCI's flawless performance is a testament to the brilliance of Turkish engineers and the country's ever-growing power of domestic innovation, he added. Akinci is not just a combat drone but a symbol of a new era in Turkey's aerospace history. The first phase of the test focused on live-fire precision tests, in which Akinci deployed a variety of domestically produced munitions, including MAMT, MAML, and t to guided bombs. Each hit its intended target with exceptional accuracy, confirming AKINCI's ability to conduct long-range precision strikes with minimal margin of error. Equipped with the Aselsan Acel FLIR 500 targeting system, the drone maintained its lock-on capability even in adverse weather conditions and at high speeds. Its high-definition imaging sensors and laser designator system ensured that target coordinates were acquired and destroyed in real time. Observers from the Turkish Armed Forces noted that a KINCI's precision rivaled that of manned aircraft, with some targets neutralized from altitudes exceeding 30,000 feet. This marked an unprecedented milestone in Turkey's unmanned warfare capabilities. Following the firing phase, Akinci faced one of the most challenging parts of the evaluation, autonomous navigation under varying environmental conditions. The drone had to execute a programmed flight route across various terrains, including coastal, mountainous, and desert terrain, while maintaining uninterrupted communication with the control center. What made this test unique was the use of a GPS-free environment, simulating an electronic warfare scenario where satellite navigation systems are disrupted or obstructed. Thanks to an internal eye-powered guidance algorithm, Akinci smoothly adjusted its flight path and maintained stable operation without external assistance. The system relied on an inertial navigation system and an advanced terrain tracking radar, both manufactured locally by Aselsan, allowing the aircraft to fly autonomously even in hazardous electromagnetic environments. This capability represents a significant leap forward for the Turkish defense industry, ensuring operational superiority even under electronic warfare conditions a key requirement. In modern conflicts, perhaps the most visually striking part of this testing campaign was the dive test, designed to evaluate AKINCI's aerodynamic resistance, control precision, and engine performance during rapid altitude changes. During this phase, Akinci performed a high-speed dive from 35,000 feet descending sharply before reaching the designated recovery altitude. Throughout the sequence, onboard sensors captured data on airframe stress, wing flexibility, and control surface response. Engineers later confirmed that the drone maintained complete structural integrity. Even during intense G-force exposure, its twin-engine configuration, powered by turboprop engines developed in collaboration with Ukrainian and Turkish manufacturers, provided stable thrust and rapid response. This dive capability allowed Akinci to evade radar detection during operations, simulate an attack profile similar to that of a manned bomber, and strike with a greater element of surprise. The heart of AKINCI's success lies in its artificial intelligence core, a fully autonomous system, capable of making decisions, assessing threats, and optimizing flight. Unlike traditional drones that require constant ground control, AKINCI's built-in AI can analyze terrain, identify potential threats, and adjust its mission in real time. This system enables multi-target tracking, automatic route planning, and real-time data fusion from multiple sensors, making Akinci one of the smartest UCAVs on the battlefield. Furthermore, its eye-assisted flight control ensures stability in extreme conditions, such as strong winds or sudden descents. During recent tests, this system played a crucial role in ensuring smooth transitions between firing, 
navigation, and diving modes, all autonomously. Akinchi is designed not only to carry combat missions, but also to serve as a strategic platform for future military innovation. Its payload capacity of over 1,500 kilograms allows it to carry a wide range of weapons, from precision bombs and cruise missiles to electronic warfare pods and air-to-air -air missiles. Akinchi can operate for more than 24 hours, reach altitudes above 40,000 feet, and seamlessly integrates with Turkey's evolving defense ecosystem, including satellite communications, ground-based radar systems, and fighter jet coordination through network-centric warfare technology. In the coming years, Akinci will also be compatible with Turkey's domestically developed Bazda-1 air-to-air missiles and SOMA cruise missiles, further enhancing its operational flexibility and strike capabilities for Turkey. AKINCI's success holds profound symbolic significance. Once heavily reliant on foreign defense suppliers, the country now stands as a global leader in drone manufacturing. Baykar's family of UCAVs, from the Bayraktar TB to, to Akinci and soon the Kizilelma, a jet-powered combat drone, has transformed not only Turkey's defense posture, but also its geopolitical influence. Akinci has attracted international attention. Several countries in Asia, Africa, and Eastern Europe have reportedly expressed interest in acquiring the system, impressed by its battlefield-proven reliability and relatively low operational costs. Compared to Western alternatives, Selkut Bayraktar emphasized in his remarks, every test flight, every successful test, represents the victory of our people's determination. AKINCI's achievements are not only technical milestones, but also a reflection of Turkey's self-reliance in defense with its latest achievement. Akinci is expected to enter full operational service with the Turkish Armed Forces. By the end of this year, plans are underway to expand production lines and develop new variants with increased endurance, optimized stealth, and enhanced electronic warfare capabilities. Baykar is also investing in I-based swarm operations, where multiple Akinci drones can collectively coordinate missions sharing targeting data and flight information over secure communication channels. This innovation is expected to redefine the future of aerial warfare by emphasizing autonomy, intelligence, and adaptability. Bayraktar AKINCI's flawless performance in firing, navigation, and diving tests marks a historic milestone, not only for the Turkish defense industry, but also for global UAV development. Its success story is a tale of perseverance, innovation, and national pride proving that a once import-dependent nation can rise to dominate the skies with its own technology. As Akinci continues to evolve, it makes a bold statement, Turkai is no longer just participating in the future of air warfare, but leading it. But leading it.